Hey everyone, what's going on? Steven here again today, or SuperBruce91. Today I'm bringing you guys a demolition gameplay on the map Nuketown using the SWAT. But today I just wanted to give you guys my final thoughts on Call of Duty Ghosts. So most of us do know that Call of Duty Ghosts is now less than one month away. And for me it kind of snuck up because I wasn't really watching too many gameplays for it, so it's kind of coming as a surprise now because I, I didn't really think it was that close, but now that you look at the calendar, it's about 28 more days away. So I just wanted to give you guys my final thoughts and opinions on, on Call of Duty Ghosts and what I think should be done right, wrong, and what I think I'm looking really forward to in Ghosts. So the one thing that I really liked that I saw from the multiplayer reveal was that they're bringing in squads. Now, as of lately, there wasn't too much information on squads, but they did reveal a lot of information on it. So pretty much now squads is you have, I think it was, uh, six soldiers, I think it was ten maybe, I forgot how many, but you can make your own squadron of soldiers with their own different class setups, and you can virtually battle online other people's squads. And I think it's going to be a really interesting game mode because, I mean, if like you ever get bored of like the multiplayer, you can just go challenge other people's squadron of soldiers, and it kind of brings like a new tactical and competitive field to Call of Duty Ghosts, which I felt, besides the league play in Black Ops 2, was non-existent. I feel like, I don't know, I like being competitive, and I feel that game mode in particular, uh, squads, I'm really going to enjoy, because I like beating other people in games, whatever it may be, I'm really competitive in that way, so hopefully it's going to be that way for squads, and I'm really going to have a fun time building and trying to beat other people's squads itself. And um, also, they're bringing in some new game modes, Blitz, Cranked, Search and Rescue, that's one thing I really do think I'm going to enjoy about Call of Duty Ghosts the most. It's probably going to be the new game modes. Like, they've brought new game modes in previous Call of Duty games, but they've brought so many new ones into Ghosts that it'll just be a different type of gameplay. Blitz is pretty much now, it's capture the flag, only that when you go into their base and you get the flag, you're automatically teleported back to your base and you get a point, and that's how it works. So, there's a whole bunch of different game modes like cranked now where you get a kill and your movement speed each time you get a kill is increased but each time you do get a kill a 30 second countdown begins on the clock and if that timer runs out then you die so all these game modes combined is going to be really interesting for Call of Duty Ghosts and I'm really looking forward to it because those would be like the game modes that I play first thing when I get the game so I'm really looking forward to the new innovations and game modes that they've made to this new Call of Duty game also, another thing I'm really excited about, and I know that'll be absolutely great no matter what, is the dedicated servers. I'm so excited for this. It's going to be on every single console. I'm not exactly sure about the Wii U, but it is confirmed. PlayStation 4, Xbox One, and PC all have dedicated servers, so that will mean there's no such thing as host migration. There's no such thing as lagging out of games because the host left, or you, the game couldn't find a host. So pretty much, if a game starts... Unless you disconnect yourself from the internet and like your internet goes down, there is pretty much no way that the game can just be interrupted and canceled because it's going to be dedicated servers, which means no, no one player is actually the host. It's pretty much servers provided to you by Activision. So that pretty much means a game that you start, the game will end when it ends. It will not be cut short because of somebody leaving the actual game. If there is one thing that I am a little bit worried about in uh, Ghosts, the only thing I would really have to say that I hope that they get right this time around is balancing of explosives, score streaks, or point streaks in uh, Call of Duty Ghosts. Uh, those really, I feel, in Black Ops 2 were not the most balanced at all. And it, it seems like they're maybe going a little bit too overboard with the score streaks or point streaks, whatever you want to call them. Because, like, the guard dog, I don't feel it's necessary. I'm just hoping that if there's one thing I can hope that they balance correctly it would definitely have to be shotguns lmgs snipers explosives and emps shock charges those types of things i feel in black ops 2 were just overused they were just a bunch of exploits they just felt like they weren't needed in black ops 2 and it didn't really add to the game's skill level and i hope that in uh call of duty ghost are able to fix this and it'll be a gun on gun type of game and i'll really enjoy it I did enjoy Black Ops 2, but there were definitely a few things to be learned from this game that Ghost should definitely learn off of. 
But anyways, if you guys did enjoy this commentary, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. I thank you guys for watching. Leave me a comment, whatever you want to say. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys later.